Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a double decker fifth wheel. This one is a front living room fifth wheel that also is a bunk room fifth wheel. This is a 2022 Keystone Montana High Country Model 377FL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Montana High Country and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be taking a look at a double decker fifth wheel, the Montana. You guys will know what we're talking about once we get in on the inside. But before we begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're wrapping up our day here in Danville, Virginia. Guys, make sure to go to our website, mattsreviewreviews.com. Jen revamped it a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It looks awesome. We got our blog there. Make sure to sign up for the newsletter. We got some good stuff coming to you guys. This is like the next big phase of Matt's Review Reviews. Well, we're evolving. Yeah, we are. So we're excited to bring it all to you. And we're evolving our team. We would like to formally, officially welcome Catriona, who, if she kind of looks familiar, that's Will's sister. That's right. She's now officially a part of the team. And we're glad to have her. Will, let's yep. begin. Model is Montana High Country. So there's a difference between a Montana. Of course. And then there's another difference between the Montana Legacy. Yep. This is the High Country. This is the cheaper version. It is 41 feet, 8 inches. The dry weight's 12,985 pounds. The hitch weight is 2,000. 465 pounds. It's well, actually not as bad as I thought, to be honest. Well, it's not as heavy. It's not as yeah, nice. You still need a one ton. And you, it's still going to be very nice. It is, yeah. Right up front here, painted fiberglass front cap, Montana High Country, nice front windshield. Now, you guys might be wondering, how did they manage to make this a bunkhouse in a front living? That's what makes this floor plan so unique. It is. Right here is a Kurt pin box right here by Lippert. Right here, you do got storage. There is the cutouts and the wires, so it is prepped for a generator there. And then you have another access here, side weight inverter, and your battery disconnect there. Right over here, tall people like Will almost knocked himself out. Yep. But for us short people, we are A-OK. -okay. <laughs> right here, we do got propane tanks, six-point electric auto leveling, okay. push of a button. And then here, just a little bit of storage. Not Very, much. Not good at all. Not good storage at all. But again, how they had to design this yeah. unit, you'll see why. And there's no rear storage, is there? Nope. Great. And then over there, we'll look at the slide out. Right. And if you guys see that, now you'll be able to kind of visualize what they're doing to make this epic That's floor right. plan. Very nice power awning with yes. LED lights. Nice lippered screen assist right here. Very nice. Pow um, not power steps. Hydraulic assisted solid steps. Makes okay. it... Very easy to get in and out of your fifth wheel. We absolutely love these steps. Okay, coming on down, we do got a nice grab handle. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Okay, and this does have the Four Seasons package from Montana. Okay, coming on down, you do got a 10 gallon DSI water heater. That might actually be a 12 gallon. Oh huh? my, it's a big one. Yep, it's a big one. Oh, uh, very nice. And then look at these tires. Will they rain your STs? I love those. 235-80 R16 with very nice rims and you got the road armor trail air suspension. That's two pieces of rubber with four points. I love that. That's right. That's great suspension. I'm really glad they put it on this unit as well. Coming on down again, here's the slide out. It's kind of weird like that it's not super high up. Right. And it does have the slide topper right yeah, there. Yeah, that's awesome. It is. Coming on down, look at that nice storage. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, there's a little more outside storage. A little bit more, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. And then over here around the back, we do got a ladder to get up on the roof. It is prepped for a backup camera there. Okay. And then what's this? Well, do we got a little bit? Is this a little bit of redemption? A little bit. Mm, yep. Just a Still, little. The problem is it's like you can't get your totes in and, you know, nothing like even remotely big. So it is what it is. Well, it is. You want you want a double decker? Double decker RV. Oh snap! Oh, I whoops. didn't even see this from the inside. Uh, it's supposed yeah. to be in the bathroom. No, it's not. Oh. It's in the hallway. Dude, I walked straight by this. This is crazy. Another door, another set of solid steps. 
another hydraulic lifted. Cool. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't even see this. Right. Interesting. All right. Finishing oh. up. Oh, didn't see that. 50 amp. That's where your uh, gray tank dump is. All right. Very nice. This is your water hookups. Outdoor shower, water filtration system, city water, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Very nice. Other side of that storage. And then I think there's another dump here. Oh, no. That's your... Potable water dump. Potable. Fresh yeah. water dump. Right here's propane tank, and then here is auto leveling controls. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go. Take a look. All right. Check it out, Will. Okay. Up front, you got that nice front living. And then coming down, you have your kitchen dining area all in one. Bathroom right here. This is that upper loft area. And then down here is the bedroom. Well, okay. we're, we're getting started up here. Before we do, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. Guys, Lippert has a community called the Scouts Program. We actually have a blog article written about that. Make sure you guys, again, go to mattsrvreviews.com. Check out our blog selection. We're talking about the RV lifestyle. We do RV reviews. We do RV comparisons. That's right. So, again, it's super. our blog super important to us because that's how we're able to expand. As Matt's RV reviews, we also have an epic newsletter. Go to our website, fill out the newsletter, read our Lipper blog articles, and we just appreciate it. Yep. And Will... The more people do that, the more we're able to do Lippert advertisements like that instead That's right. of those long 90 second ones. Right. We want to try to condense it for you, so we need everybody's support. Up front here, Will. Wow. Is this a bunk room? It doesn't feel like it. Right. It feels like a luxury front living. Right here, we got no storage above, but we got three windows right here very with nice. a very nice sofa. Over here, three windows right here with a sofa. And the sofas do pull out to make a bed. Okay. Well, show everybody that TV that comes up. Okay. So you got your TV here, storage here. I'm looking for the uh, nice front window right here. A storage on the other side, and this does pull down. This button must be in somewhere in here. Well, just show the dang old fireplace <laughs> already. I'll we, find the button. We got a um, nice sound system here. Space for your DVD player, Furion, well, wait, well, fireplace. Just, just show this first. Okay, I don't know where the button is. Well, I I will find the <laughs> button, okay? This is a very nice trifold sofa here. Very easy to set up and set down. And then, well, I'll show you where the button is. Okay. You know, sometimes in life... It's definitely well, on this side. In life, you just know where the buttons are. There's people that know where the buttons are and then people that don't know where the buttons are. I guess so, huh? And I guess you're one of those people. It's not in there. Nope. Oh. Well, well. Allow me to be the first to apologize. <laughs> oh, there it is. When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. I love this. While it's coming up, Will, look at that nice theater. G give me that. It's in that theater seat. Okay. Very nice, nice Thomas Paine. How do you feel, Dad? Actually, it's not too bad. I don't like this, but okay. at least you can get it out of the way. But yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It is, it's all electric, um, and you do have USB. No massage, no heated, nothing like that. And you know what? I'm fine with that no massage I am stuff. Too. You know, that, that's a little extra. And then, Will, when it's up, then it's stuck. Nice TV right there. And then, oh, uh, you didn't mention it, but there was a nice Furion 30-inch fireplace. Which does produce heat from electricity. Yep. Which I'm a little cold, Will. I wish we had that on yeah, right now. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then coming on down, why don't you show this awesome kitchen? Okay. You may start over here. I want you to start wherever you feel like starting. Okay, well, over here, it's not really a kitchen, but all your controls and there is a fan and everything. Oh, the oh. fan works. Oh, the keep it on. Uh, you could use this as like pantry space, centralized yeah. vac. Where is that? Right under there? there. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, so there's your hose and everything for that. More pantry type space. 
here and here. Your breakers and fuses. And then over here is nice GE refrigerator. GE easy. Take me a sec. Residential style. Man. Very nice. Yes, sir. Freezer down below. And you, well, you need a big old fridge like that in this unit. You what? I love this setup here. It's kind of like a breakfast bar. Yeah, I mean, this is truthfully probably where I'd end up eating most of the time. Yeah. Get a little bit of storage under there. Yeah. And then over here, you have some storage all around. Oop. Got that one? Yep. Cool. Nice one on your camping side, also with the MCD privacy blind. Well, I don't think it's MCD. Oh, yeah. But it is Sorry. slow rise. Yes. Yeah. A uh, nice spray faucet here with double bowl sink, but one of them is really big. Okay, okay. Power right there. Solid surface countertops on this little peninsula. A couple drawers here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Hey! That's a $156 trash can. That's right. And then you do have your solid surface inserts in there as well. Yes. I got that over here. Nice storage up top. GE con oh convenience man that threw me off. Oh man, they're trying to it's say convenience fucking, but not it's convection. Convenience. There you go. Nice backsplash all the way around. Three burner suburban cooktop. Yes. With one red light apparently. And, all right. and the rest are like bluish. Kind of weird. Yeah. Oven and storage down below. Perfect. And then right over here, well, this uh, secure down nicely. Here is your dinette. Um, I could just look at that and tell you that it's incredibly too tight. Yeah. Especially for the amount of people that are going to be here. So we don't even need to demonstrate because it's just not looking good. That's all right. Nice windows though. Um, and yeah, let's just continue on. Okay. Let's continue on, my friend. Should we go up there? If you want. Oh, uh, let's can. do the bathroom test. Okay. Check it out, Will. Let's see if Big Will can fit in here. Oh man, I think he can. Think so. Great headspace here, mm. honestly. Um, tons of width. A little more narrow on this one, yep. but it definitely gets by and passes. Bing! That's shower test seal approval. That's right. Well, are people texting you? Yeah. This is video time. I know. Right here, we got this. Who is it? Mortgage company. Oh, America wants to know why. Do you need to take it? Nope. Oh, it's. Okay. Spam mortgage company. Oh, one of those. Well, mm -hmm. see. Oh, is it too tight with your no, foot there? No, it's my there? foot. Yeah. It's my foot. It's like everybody a, needs to see. Yeah, no, like. I know. And especially I'm gonna make it a me. I'm going to make it a neutral. You know why? Why? Because it is a prime pooping position, but my foot's there. It's okay. like, is the foot part of the position? I don't know. Net neutral. Okay. And then, um. Coming on up here, Will. Look at these steps. Look at these steps. Double decker. Oh, yeah. Very nice. We got two sleeping areas, tons of storage right there. Look at this. You got that right there. Very nice. You got your uh, little TV hookup, and then two people can sleep up here. This is very cool. I love this. Because before this, Will, if you had additional sleeping, you had to get a bunkhouse. Right. This way, you can still get that awesome front living room. And then, or not only that, there's a lot of people buying this, using this for storage. It's like right. a little attic space. Like, this honestly is perfect for grandparents. Yeah. Like, hey, the grandkids come every now and then. Yeah, just throw them up there. Yeah, but, it, you know, space isn't really in the way. I love that. Like, this is the grandparent fifth wheel, honestly. For sure. The official. Oh. And then down here, Will, is the master bedroom. Very yeah. unique, very different. It's the drop down. Will, stand right here. Yeah, it's still, like, don't get me wrong. Right. You're going to notice because there's a whole bunk. Man, my hair is a mess. There's a whole bunk up here, but I could get by. Now, this is what I think I don't like, if it is what I think yeah. it is. No, we talked about last time. It's where the washer-dryer really? is. Yeah. It's where the combo washer-dryer goes. We talked about this when we did the 2020 okay. um, Montana, and they didn't lift then. Right, why didn't they put what it do we know? in the... What do we know, Will? We yeah. don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> and then over here, Will, very nice uh, king-size bed. 
And again, it's weird because it's a drop down instead of it. We're, we're used to it always going right, up. Right, right. Got the windows there, storage above for cell phones. Decent looking headboard. Let's see if there is storage underneath. Sure is. Certainly. Great storage, actually. Yes, sir. And then over here. Oh, well, they couldn't. See, yeah, yeah. not enough room. Yeah, storage right here. I mean, it's not good for a washer. But, but again, they could have made it a bit longer, right? Yeah. Why not? Right here, you got this, you got that. Bunch of drawers. Bunch of drawers, because you can never have enough. Never, never, never. And uh, I guess, oh, the TV would go right there. Yep. Well, well, that's it, that's the review. That's a double-decker fifth wheel. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, we have one on the outside. Yep. Let's go teleport. Dislike number one. Will, we talked about this earlier in the video. The storage here, it's slim to none. The outside There's, storage, yeah. The outside storage is slim to none, especially for a fifth wheel. And then, like, sometimes fifth wheels have this, and it's okay because they have epic rear storage. This one doesn't give you either. But I think it's totally okay because the floor plane style that you get, it's just the sacrifices that you need to That's make. That's right. That is dislike number one. Great. That's dislike number one. Well, dislike number two, mm -hmm. follow me. You know what? I'm going to make it this That's door. That's what mine was going to be too. Oh, was it? More for the outside. Did you go, did you notice that on the outside? What's that? I know you did. But like every time you want to pull your tanks, Oh, You're gonna right. have to put the steps in. Oh, double stupid. I yeah. didn't even notice that. Yeah. That is really dumb. Don't like that whatsoever. Right. Well, that's good observation. That's dislike number two. And then dislike number three, well, it's just this dinette area. It's pretty it's, tight. It's unnecessary. What would have been a lot better is like just a desk area. Yep. Truthfully, um, like four people aren't sitting around here. Yeah. That's three things we don't like about it, Will. Now it's time for three things we love about this. Okay. Uh, you go first. Three things we love. Probably, yeah, this kitchen. I mean, and again, it's like we've seen a lot better kitchens in fifth wheels, but given the space that you're working with, yeah. I mean, front living kitchens are always kind of small anyways. Just, I guess that front living room takes up so much room. But then also to get like a bunk in it, this is pretty good for... Not only that, so many times the kitchens are trying to do like the fancy kitchen islands. Yeah. Like you don't need all that. This is perfect. Yeah. And to combo that with like yep. the breakfast seats. Exactly. That's what you need, the breakfast seats. Great. So that's number one. Will, do you have a number two? Hmm. Yeah. Talk to me. Again, all things considered. Uh-huh. The shower and the, really the whole bathroom, even though the toilet wasn't perfect. Again, they had to get like a staircase in here and room for the bunks and all that. They're, it's all competing with like this space here. And I think they did really good. And especially with the ceiling height. Okay, well that's number two. And then number three is 100% the upstairs. Yes. The second bunk room, the attic space, the space for the grandkids if they come, not when they come. The fact of the matter is how much you can do with that with a two story fifth wheel is unreal. Yep. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $110,527. Will, that is MSRP. Okay. Sale price, RV Outlet has it for $83,000 sale price. But again, that's on this unit here. Um, the next, once this unit's gone, that sale price is gone. But we are a part of RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So no matter what, if you guys are ready to buy a Montana, go to our website, fill out the contact form. We're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire industry. That's right. Will, is there anything you want to say? Absolutely. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I think this is such a cool floor plan and everything, especially with that upper bunk. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know what you think about it. Give us three things you like and dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Make sure you guys go to our website, sign up yes. for the newsletter. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.